While the world slept, India just deployed AI systems that can track 10,000 objects in space simultaneously. And most countries have no idea what's coming next. If you think the global power balance is the same as last year, you're about to be shocked. Because what I'm about to show you isn't just about technology. It's about a complete shift in how power works in the 21st century. But before we dive in, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. I subscribe and I'll personally welcome you into the family. With that said, let's get started. Let me start with a number that will make your head spin. According to a 2024 MIT study, India's AI defense spending has jumped 340% in just 18 months. That's not a typo. 340%. But here's where it gets personal. Meet Raj Patel, a guy who had everything in Silicon Valley. Six-figure salary at Google, stock options, the American dream. In 2023, he walked away from all of it and moved back to Bangalore. His friends thought he'd lost his mind. I came back, Raj told me, because India was building something the world hadn't seen. Picture this, while American tech companies were laying off thousands, India was quietly recruiting the brightest minds to work on something that would make Iron Man's Jarvius look like a calculator. But what Raj discovered next changed everything he thought about modern warfare. Most people think of India as the country that handles your customer service calls. They're still stuck in 2005. But here's what's actually happening right now. India's ISRO is processing 50 terabytes of satellite data every single second using AI. That's like downloading the entire Netflix library in the time it takes you to blink. While other nations are still arguing about AI ethics in boardrooms, India is already three moves ahead on the global chessboard. The Journal of Defense Technology published something in September 2024 that should have been front-page news everywhere. Indian AI systems achieved 99.7% accuracy in threat detection. That's not good. That's scary good. Let me paint you a picture. Traditional radar systems can spot an incoming aircraft maybe 50 miles away. India's new AI-powered systems. They're tracking objects 2,000 miles out. And they're not just tracking. They're predicting movement patterns, calculating threat levels, and suggesting countermeasures in real time. But here's the crazy part. This technology isn't even their best kept secret. Let me tell you about Dr. Priya Sharma. She's 34, brilliant, and she lost her father in the 1999 Kargil conflict when she was just nine years old. That little girl who used to cry herself to sleep is now the lead researcher behind quantum computing systems that protect millions of people. Dr. Sharma's team at the Defense Research and Development Organization has created something that sounds like science fiction. The quantum AI hybrid system can process threat scenarios faster than the human brain can even comprehend them. We can run 50,000 battle simulations in the time it takes a pilot to radio for backup, she told me. Her voice carried this quiet intensity, like she knew she was describing something that would change history. Her AI algorithm can predict hostile aircraft movements 17 minutes before they appear on traditional radar. 17 minutes. In military terms, that's the difference between life and death for thousands of people. But there's something even more shocking about what her team has built. They created what they call predictive defense networks. Think of it like this. If traditional defense is playing chess, India is now playing chess while seeing 20 moves into the future. Their systems don't just react to threats, they predict them before they even fully form. A submarine leaving port in the South China Sea. India's AI knows about it before the submarine captain has finished his coffee. A fighter jet changing course over the Arabian Sea. The system has already calculated 847 possible reasons why and prepared responses for each one. Here's where your brain might start hurting. India's defense AI exports hit $2.3 billion in 2024. Remember, in 2022, 
That number was $400 million. We're talking about a 475% increase in two years. Countries that laughed off Indian technology five years ago. They're now standing in line, checkbook in hand. And here's the kicker. They're paying 10 times more than if they partnered with India from the beginning. Defense Economics Quarterly just published a study showing a 67% cost reduction when using Indian AI systems compared to traditional Western alternatives. Imagine being the defense minister who said no to this technology. That's a career-ending mistake. But wait, it gets better. Or worse, depending on where you're sitting. India isn't just selling technology anymore. They're licensing entire defense ecosystems. Countries are literally buying Indian-designed AI systems to run their entire military operations. That means India essentially has backdoor access to the defense capabilities of dozens of nations. Think about the implications. When you control the software that runs someone else's military, you don't just have an advantage, you have complete strategic dominance. And that's before you see what's happening in the Indian Ocean. Project AIG, Artificial Intelligence Guardian. The name sounds like something from a superhero movie, but it's very, very real. This system monitors 95% of all maritime traffic in the Indo-Pacific region. Let that sink in for a moment. Captain Arjun Singh has been in naval intelligence for 15 years. He's seen the transition from guys with binoculars to satellite imagery to what exists today. And what exists today, according to him, makes everything before look like Stone Age technology. I watched our system detect submarine movements 72 hours before our allies' satellites even knew something was there, he told me. His voice still carried amazement, like he couldn't quite believe it himself. But here's what Captain Singh told me next that really blew my mind. The system doesn't just detect submarines, it can identify them. By sound signature, by movement pattern, by the way they disturb water temperature. It knows which country they belong to, who's commanding them, and where they're probably headed. We tracked a Chinese submarine for three weeks, he said. We knew its mission before Beijing confirmed it to their own naval command. Think about that. 72 hours advance warning. That's enough time to prevent an entire conflict before the first shot is fired. This isn't just defense technology. This is peacekeeping technology. But here's where it gets really wild. India's AI systems are now so advanced, they can predict military buildups before they happen. By analyzing satellite imagery, communications patterns, supply chain movements, and even social media activity, that algorithms can tell when a country is preparing for military action weeks before traditional intelligence agencies figure it out. Remember when Russia moved troops to the Ukrainian border in early 2022? India's AI systems flagged unusual military activity patterns in December 2021, three months early, when tensions flared between China and Taiwan in 2023. India's systems detected the buildup in supply chain disruptions and military communications six weeks before it made international news. They're essentially predicting the future of global conflicts, and they're sharing this information with whoever they choose to share it with. But here's what nobody's talking about. While everyone assumes India is keeping this technology for themselves, they're actually doing the opposite. India is sharing this AI defense technology with 12 developing nations. For free. That's not a typo. They're giving away billions of dollars in research and development. Why? Because they're not building customers, they're building allies. Countries like Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, and several African nations now have access to AI defense technology that's more advanced than what most NATO countries are using. India isn't just changing the game, they're changing who gets to play. Meet Colonel Sarah Okafor from Nigeria. Two years ago, her country's air defense consisted of outdated radar systems from the 1980s. Today, thanks to Indian AI technology, Nigeria can track every aircraft movement across West Africa in real time. We went from being defenseless to being the regional security hub, 
she told me. Countries that used to ignore us now call us for intelligence support. This is happening across three continents. India has created a network of technologically advanced allies who owe their defense capabilities to New Delhi. But the real genius isn't in the technology itself, it's in the strategy. By giving away advanced defense AI, India has created something unprecedented. A loyalty network based on technological dependence. These countries aren't just grateful, they're strategically aligned with India because their security literally depends on Indian systems. When the UN votes on Kashmir, India has 12 new voices supporting their position. When China tries to build influence in the Indian Ocean, these same countries already have better technology from India. It's soft power and hard power wrapped into one incredibly smart package. The UN Technology Assessment Report projects, this could completely reshape global security architecture by 2027. We're not just watching India join the big leagues, we might be watching the creation of an entirely new league. But here's the part that should keep Pentagon strategists awake at night. India's AI systems are learning from every conflict, every threat, every military movement around the world. And they're getting smarter exponentially. What took months to process in 2022, now takes minutes in 2024. Dr. Anish Kumar, former MIT professor, now heading India's AI Warfare Division, explained it to me like this. Our systems don't just process data. They understand patterns that humans can't even see. We're not just ahead of the curve anymore. We're creating the curve. Their latest breakthrough. AI systems that can hack into enemy networks and plant false information so convincing that opposing forces make strategic decisions based on completely fabricated intelligence. Imagine launching a military operation based on satellite images that were never real, communication intercepts that were artificially generated, and troop movements that exist only in an AI's imagination. That's not future warfare, that's happening right now. From a country that depended on others for basic defense equipment to a nation that's now defining the future of warfare. In one generation, India has flipped the script. But here's the question that's going to haunt global strategists for the next decade. What happens when a country that was historically non-aligned suddenly has the most advanced military AI on the planet? India isn't just building defense systems, they're building the infrastructure for a new world order. One where technological superiority matters more than military bases, where AI alliances trump traditional treaties, and where the country that controls the algorithms controls the game. So here's my question. Is India's AI defense revolution the beginning of a multipolar world, or are we watching the birth of the next global superpower? Drop your prediction in the comments, because what happens next is going to determine the balance of power for the next 50 years.